Natalia. Hello there, Steph. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You're looking very lovely. Well, thank you. I've actually had my hair cut today. Ooh. Yes, I had um, this uh, hairdresser come round my house. Um, have you ever done that before? I haven't, but I would like to. Mm. Yeah, I I, it to. was my first time as well. Um, so I had to wash my hair before she got here. And then um, she came over and basically gave me a trim and a nice blow dry. So, Well, did you yeah. leave her a nice big tip? Um, no, actually, I didn't leave her a tip. I see. <laughs> Should I have left her a tip? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, some people do leave a tip at the hairdressers and others don't. I don't know. I've kind of, I've done it in the past, but I not mean, every time. Depends how expensive the haircut exactly, is. Exactly, because it's so extortionate in uh, the UK, which our students will attest to, right? They all say that mm. um, when they come to the UK, they're shocked at how expensive the hairdressers are because mm, it's so yes. expensive in the first place um uh, mm -hmm. yeah a bit apprehensive no it's not it. cheap at all yeah i mean this is one of the reasons why i i got a mobile hairdresser because it's slightly cheaper um is it oh yeah um but i didn't leave a tip i mean yeah i guess leaving a tip is this yeah well, this is obviously our subject of the day yep, our topic um of the day. leaving a tip um, and as usual, guys, remember to listen out for a couple of interesting words throughout. Yep, which and we'll, we'll come give back you uh, examples and definitions at the end. That's right. Um, so if we compare kind of British culture and Korean culture, um, have you heard any kind of stories from your students about tipping? Like, is tipping considered normal in South Korea? Well, I actually talked about it in a lesson today. Oh, um, yeah. It basically, in an answer, no. <laughs> it seems okay. that from mm -hmm. what I've heard from my students, it seems that in Korea, it's just not really a thing. Um, okay. Mm. It's just, not that it's discouraged, but it's just not very common. Mm. Um, but there was a homework video I gave to a student and it's just two British people talking about tipping. And yeah. one of the women in that video said that when she went to either Japan or a Japanese restaurant in the UK, in they the UK. actually okay. mm. didn't allow tips. Not only that, they refused to accept them. And there were signs on the walls saying, do not tip, we will not accept it. Why wouldn't you accept a tip? I don't know. That's, that was my question. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's culture <laughs> or whether it's seen as rude or mm. I maybe it's rude. I don't know. I have I have heard that in Japan, you don't need to tip. So if you go traveling there, yeah. like, you know, you don't need to tip. But I didn't know that it was, you know, rude or unacceptable, if you know what I mean, um, to leave a tip. I don't know. And, that, and that's a Japanese restaurant in England? I think so, yeah. Wow, that's quite unusual, isn't it? Because, well, what would you say, like, in, in the UK, would you say that we tip much? Well, I think when we talk about this, we always naturally compare the UK and the USA, right? We do, um, we do. In the UK, such I'd say thing. tipping is not uh, such a big thing. It's kind of, uh, it's like a bonus if you do. Yeah, yeah, um, true. And it depends on you, really. And it also depends mm. how generous you are with money in general. Yeah, uh, And some true. places now, they're a bit sneaky. They actually include service charge. So you don't have yeah. to give a hefty tip. Um, That's right. I, to be honest, again, maybe I'm a bit stingy, but because eating in the UK, mm. which again is something that our students comment on when they come here, because it <laughs> is so much more expensive, like, you know, yeah. you go out for lunch and it's 30 quid, yeah, which is yeah. nearly double my water bill, then um, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to give a tip, but it's just, it's just so expensive. And sometimes, to be mm. frank, it's not worth it when your waiter doesn't even mm. smile at you i'm like well mm. okay so for you giving a tip yeah it would depend on how good the service was then. yeah if it's normal yeah. i won't tip if something's really really you know you have a really great experience yeah um the time i probably would tip is if you're in a very big group and you have a very large bill okay like 100 okay. 150 quid yeah but then again maybe i'm being stingy because i actually only pay 
two quid towards that because we split it. Mm, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... What about you? Yeah, I'm thinking about it now that you say that. I mean, I think I just I just leave a tip if I have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I Fair say enough. if I have to, it's because it's on the on the bill already. So it says oh, like of, often it will say like it will say optional, but it's not actually optional. We all know it's not optional. If if it says like optional gratuity or optional service charge twelve point five percent, which is usually what it is, or ten percent or something like that, I'm not going to ask them to remove it. Yeah. Um, unless I've had the most awful experience ever yeah. for some reason, and I want to. Maybe I want to make a point. Yeah. Um, but if, you know, if my experience has been normal or just good, I would just obviously pay it. But I definitely wouldn't add on any extra yeah. onto that. Um, I think I would only leave like an extra tip or kind of, you know, make a point of leaving a tip if it was a situation where maybe... I really wanted to thank someone for going out of their yeah, way. exactly, above and beyond. Yeah, so they've kind of really tried to accommodate when they didn't have to, yeah, maybe, exactly. something like that. That's what tips should be for, in my opinion. That's the point, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, like, I'm trying to think of a situation. I mean, yeah, like if, if somebody wasn't meant to do something but they they did something in order to help you or to make your life easier perhaps yeah. you say oh I'll give them a little tip to kind of show my thanks do you or know what really I mean? nice when they could have acted annoyed or yeah you know what I mean very exactly polite and, well something like that the reason I mentioned America is because it's you mm. know we're talking about uh having to or not having to everybody says that in America you basically have to tip because they're the waitresses or waiters uh, wages are so low that they literally rely on tips f to live and uh, yes. I so I haven't spent much time in America I've only been there once but I was staying with family so I didn't really go out much to restaurants and stuff mm -hmm. and my student today was saying she went to somewhere and uh, she didn't tip and they complained and basically didn't let her leave until she paid a tip well in America and I was very surprised to hear that mm. I'm not surprised because I've I have been to America and I, I remember like the few, like, I went when I was a very young teenager kind of child and the very the very few memories I have of it are me being shocked because because of the tipping culture. Yeah. Um, I remember once. Even good. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you're just, you're just meant to leave a tip wherever you go for whoever you want, whoever serves you. Like, even if, let's say you go to a hotel and they offer to take your bags up to the room, like your heavy suitcases. Ah, so the films, it's real. They will wait <laughs> for you to <laughs> give around. them a tip. They'll hang around your room, yeah, like or outside the door. Like, and you'll kind of think, yes, they'll be loitering, exactly. Um, I remember once when we went to a restaurant with my family and um, I don't know where we were. I don't know if it was New York or something. Um, we we're in this restaurant and... They took ages to bring us the bill, mm. basically, like ages. Like they were ignoring us. Like it was terrible service. My dad basically put the money on the table and said, come on, let's leave. Like, let's just go. Yeah. They just put the money on the table um, and they came running out like Tackle after you. us. <laughs> yeah, they came running Tackled out. Of the, the ground. Where's the tip? Where's the tip? And he wow. was like, why should I leave you a tip? You didn't even like, you know. So is you there ignored a, us. is there a, an expected minimum, like a percentage? I'm not sure to be honest. I really don't know. Um, I don't know that far, but I do know that. I don't really understand why they're. I don't know much about the culture there, but I don't understand why why they're not paid a normal wage, like the waiters and things like that. Because I was yeah. actually watching something the other day. I think it was on TikTok or something, and it was like a waitress clocking into work at at, um, at a restaurant. And she was like, okay, so I start the day on $2. Like $2 is my base rate. What? Yeah, it was like $2 an hour or something. And then she said, so now I'm going to count my tips. Oh, they left me a tip. They don't. And she was counting the tips and the tips go to her directly. So that's okay. kind of her wage. That's mental. $2 Isn't that illegal? An hour? You can't legally 
That's well, why minimum wage. That's what exists. I'm saying. Yeah, but maybe they don't have that in that. Maybe industry? there's some contractual ob- obligement, like it's essentially commission based or something. Right. As in, you get money. Yeah. Or like an unwritten rule. I don't know. It seems to be, but yeah, I was really, really shocked by that. Mental. Wow, that's put mm. me off. Eating in a restaurant in the USA. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not like that in the UK. <laughs> it's no, like true. Minimum wage. At least, and then obviously, yeah, if you're given a tip, great, but, you know, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Well, it's Very a bit awkward culture. now. Have you, um, you mm. know, now they, most people play by card and yeah. it asks you, it's it's written on the card machine, like, yeah. add gratuity. Yeah. Uh, which so means awkward. a tip. Yeah. And <laughs> they're just standing there and you just... <laughs> press no the big uh big red button no yeah yeah i've yeah i've done that before have you oh yeah or have you been <laughs> you haven't been kind of coerced into clicking the uh tip button because you were feeling awkward no i mean if i did i would then also feel awkward because i'd have to think about oh how much and yeah really awkward. on, on the yeah. spot you know oh uh, yeah totally well should we go back to our words and phrases that we Let mentioned us, yes okay well, the first one's a very simple one, but effective, I would say. Um, it's the phrase, uh, leave a tip. Mm. Um, you could also say give a tip as well, mm. um, which may, means that you give someone a small amount of extra money. For example, a waiter or waitress in a restaurant um, in order to kind of thank them for, for the service that you've received. Could also be a taxi driver. Yeah, it could be a taxi driver, a hairdresser, yeah. anything. <laughs> so you might say, he left the waiter a generous tip. Or, are we supposed to leave a tip? Mm. So that's our first one. What's our second one? Second one is a, an informal word and it is hefty. Hefty. This is an adjective and we usually use this to talk about an amount of money. And mm-hmm. it means large or larger than usual or expected. So, mm-hmm. for example, we could say she's my favorite customer because she always leaves me a hefty tip. Mm. Or they sold it easily and made a hefty profit. Very nice. Yeah, good word. And then we thought we'd teach the opposite of that, kind of, um, which is the adjective stingy. Yeah. Also informal. Um, and this basically means not generous, especially with money. Yeah. So this um, is about people, but hefty is about money. Yes, exactly. So you could say you're stingy, which basically means you don't want to spend money. You're not willing mm. to spend money. Um, or you could say something like it was a stingy offer. So he turned it down, meaning yeah. he he didn't accept the offer, basically. And I'm yeah. pretty sure that... Uh, most languages will have this word in their uh, in their language. For example, mm-hmm. in Turkish, there's a phrase meaning yeah. stingy, and they say you've got a scorpion in your pocket. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. I yeah. like it. Very visual. <laughs> Snapping at your fingers as you exactly. put them in. That's a really good. Uh, yeah, good. I love it. Good yeah. imagery there. Really nice. Yeah, I don't think we say anything like that in English, do we? Uh. No, we might say, uh, what's the phrase with purse strings? You need to loosen mm. the purse strings. Oh, loosen the purse strings. Well, I was thinking... It's not very imaginative though, is it? <laughs> cobwebs, like cobwebs on in your... Oh, all the cobwebs are coming out of your, yeah, in your wallet, wallet or, or your yeah, purse because yeah. you never open it. So it's so <laughs> dusty. <laughs> Hasn't got an animal Something in it though. Like I like that. It. Phrases with animals. No. Yeah, it's a good one, that one. Yeah. Well... I think that's, that's all for today. Yeah, all, all for today. I'll see you in our next episode. See you in the next one. And uh, until then, don't be stingy. Oh, I won't. Actually, I think, <laughs> we, I think we confirmed today that we're both a bit stingy. It seems like it, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Well, have a lovely rest of the week and I will see you very soon. Take, Take care. care.